Well, Reese, I guess you've got to make at least one change. Um, does Pollock or, or Ben Brown come back in? Yeah, we, it's disappointing that uh, young Curtis is um, young Curtis is out. Um, but yeah, we've we've got to make some decisions um, uh, over the over today. We've got our training session, our main training session, and our only training session um, today. So we'll we'll have a look at that and then make some decisions after that. But um, yeah, it's it's disappointing for Curtis because he's been playing such uh, such good footy for us, and you know, he's been fantastic and. Um, Hopefully he can get back uh, really quickly because he's a really valued member of our team and um, looking forward to seeing what he can do in the in the um, latter end of the year. So you didn't want to commit to the, bringing one of those two guys back there. What, what have you seen or what did you want to see in the last only few days, obviously, to see them potentially get back? Yeah, look, we're, we're open to everything um, at this stage, Mark. We'd, We've got uh, two four-day breaks, um, so we've got to make sure that our team is, is fresh and uh, ready to go for each of those games. And um, we've got guys that are um, sitting there waiting to waiting to play. So we've got to make decisions on what that looks like. And uh, those two those two players will um, certainly play a part, whether it be um, this game or the next game or, or the game after. But we'll um, we'll work through that today and uh, see how it pans out. And, and what we think is right for our team to um, play against Shalom. And Reese, how's Matt Jack Dorr pulled up from his first hit out? Is he is his body okay to to back up again after such a short turnaround? Yeah, Matt is a freak. He's um, he, he he's fine. He he was he started moving a bit yesterday. Uh, a couple of our boys went for a bit of a jog and. Um, did a few stationary skills, but he, he, he's in he's in good nick, and um, I'm really pleased with the way he's gone. I think his game on the weekend it was a fantastic story um, for for him and his family and, and the AFL. But uh, in terms of his football and his output, um, we were really pleased with the way he went about it. So um, really looking forward to what he can do um, this week and, and backing up. So yeah, it's going to be it's going to be good. What did you notice was different about your forward line and the structure and how it all, all flowed, I guess, without Ben there? I think uh, our, our forward line's been functioning fairly well um, over the last period. It's, it's probably just been a bit of our ball movement up the field that um, hindered, hindered that a little bit. But um, I, I was really pleased with the guys um, and how they functioned together. We, very, very young forward line. At times, when you've got Bailey Scott, Curtis Taylor, Jack Marnie, Cam Zerha, Nick Larkey, um, all playing down there, it's uh, it's pretty young and exciting for us, and they function well, and they um, they love playing with each other, so that's that's really important, and um, they they work for each other, and that was really pleasing, and uh, we got the results on the weekend, but it's about it's obviously about backing up um, that performance. I heard Gold Goldie speak on the radio yesterday. He did in regards to Ben Brown, sort of said that it, it, it looked like it had been a bit of a circuit breaker for him. He certainly sensed a change in, in his mood, I guess, not playing on the weekend. Have you sort of noticed a, a similar change from I guess, from your action? Yeah, I think, it, as, I, as I've said before, I think Ben needed um, needed that. Um, we made the call based on, based on form and uh, he's... He's continued to work hard as he as he normally does, um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what he can do when he gets his opportunity again, uh, whether that's uh, tomorrow or on the weekend. Um, I know he'll be given 100% and uh, provide us uh, a really good option up forward. So um, he's he's taken it really well. Um, he's a, he's an ultra pro, ultimate professional, and um, yeah, he's really invested in what we're doing. Similar vein on on Jared, like dropping him. Um, did you notice a change in the group? Like, did it sort of sharpen them up or, or, or put them in notice in any sense when you when you see a guy like that go out of the side? Yeah, I don't know. Well, I, we the boys uh, understand uh, what what I'm about, and what we're about as a as a coaching group, and what we want to achieve as a football club. So, uh, whether it was a surprise or not, um, I think they understand. Um, but 
Jared's been fantastic. I thought he, his attitude over the last couple of days has been great. And um, as I said again, they're going to be playing a part. They're, they're two talented um, individuals and uh, they won't be long out of the side, I wouldn't thought. Reese, how do you balance up a good performance like the weekend against the fact you were playing an Adelaide Crow side that has struggled a lot this year, haven't had a win? How do you balance that up and compare it to your form previously? Oh, look, to be honest, I thought the Crows had been playing some pretty good footy over the last couple of weeks and um, we were under no illusions that uh, they were pretty dangerous. And I just thought our boys went out and executed uh, really, really well. It's the type of footy that we want to play. It's our, the brand of footy we want to play. We're really hard at the contest. Um, we defended really well as a group and um, our ball movement um, was exceptional. So uh, I can't um, take a lot, I won't take away from our performance as a, as a team. And um, we've just got to back that up. And um, that's that's what AFL footy is all about. The, the good teams are the ones that consistently do it all the time. And, and we want to be one of those teams. And uh, the challenge is right there for us this week. We saw the Eagles get on top of the Cats in the, the Raps last week with, with Nick Nat, obviously, but you've got a, a premium Rapman as well in goal. Do you, do you feel like you can exploit them in that area? Oh, I don't know about exploiting. Um, Geelong are a, a really, really well-balanced side. Um, they got options everywhere. Uh, young Asavas, a uh, really um, talented young man. Um, uh, Blitzavas is a, a super player and it has been for a long period of time. Uh, whether Reece Stanley comes back into it, he's he's been in good form as well. So um, they've, they've got no shortage of, of options through there. But we'll back Toddy in. He's, he's the premier ruckman in the competition at the moment, and um, both as a ruckman as a, and as a midfielder. So we're really pleased with how he's going and um, what he provides for us. So it's going it's to be a good battle and uh, really interesting to see how it pans out. And you really need a win here to stay in touch with the top eight. Is that something you raised with the playing group? Not really. Um, over the last few weeks, obviously, we have, we've had a bit of a lean trot. Um, and it's just been about um, who we are and, and the process we want to take. And uh, I thought over the last couple of weeks, we've, we've um, really had a good hard look at our game uh, from a holistic point of view. And... Um, we got some, we got some good results on the weekend, but there's still improvement there for us, and I think that's the pleasing part about it. We can we just continue to grow, and this week's a great opportunity against a outstanding opposition, and I'm really looking forward to it. I know the boys are. And it's it's an opportunity for us to back it up and um, have a real crack at uh, Geelong. I was just going to say, have you approached the four-day breaks? I've seen guys like Fagan and quoting tennis players and, and that kind of thing. I guess what sort of, I mean, have you sort of prepared the, the group for the short turnaround? Yeah, we've been planning uh, around this for, for a long period of time. As, as, um, we were made aware that the, these type of situations could happen and we prepared pretty early for it. So um, we, were, we were ready to go. Uh, we got two four-day breaks, as you said, and... Um, just making sure that our boys are recovered and prepared. Uh, that's all we can do. Uh, having been a part of some short day breaks myself when we played some Anzac Day games, it, it really is uh, paramount that the recovery plays a huge part in those couple of days, especially after a really hard game. And um, I know our boys are in the best frame of mind at the moment. They can be. Uh, and we'll just see how they um, function today. And, and get up for tomorrow, but we've done. We've been really diligent in the way we've gone about it, and I'm really happy with um, how they how they pulled up. How do you weigh up that recovery process and what you're doing at training in between with the fact that you're just probably going to have to rest a few players? Can we expect multiple changes, four, five, six? I mean, what, what are you thinking in that regard? What are we going to see? Yeah, I'll, we we just have to do it. Um, uh, we'll make changes. Uh, we there's. Um, some guys are just uh, haven't got the ability to get up for um, those short breaks, um, but whether it's one, two, or three, or four, I'm not quite sure yet. But um, there there will be changes, and I think that's probably the beauty. Um, it's challenging from a coaching perspective because you want to keep um, your side as stable as possible. But um, there's some great opportunities there for guys um, 
when when their time comes because of these short breaks and and they've just got to make the most of it and I think that's the best part about um, this season the opportunity um, that it provides in terms of uh, the spectacle and how we go about as a coaching group how we function as an industry it's um, it's been really good to um, go through this process and uh, yeah we'll, we'll be making changes I'm, I'm pretty sure Will we see Will Walker in one of these two games? Yeah, you might do, Mark. You might do. We still got to, we still got to wait to see what today looks like. But um, we've got a number of guys that are uh, putting their hand up, and I've been really pleased with their attitude. It's been really tough for those guys. Um, we haven't been in a position where we can play scratch matches because of our injury list. So those guys have just had to uh, put their head down at training, and um, it's it's a really hard thing to do. You're in a hub. Um, you're not playing games. You're seeing the um, got the same guys run out every week. Um, it's very difficult, but our, I'm really proud of our guys and the guys that are on the cusp have kept their attitude strong and um, they'll get their opportunity over, over the next couple of games. Can you give us a clue, race on who might need a rest or you'll uh, keep that to yourself until tonight? So this is the fourth question you guys have hinted at me naming the side, but I, I usually am pretty open with that stuff, but just not today, guys, sorry. <laughs>